Okay, so let's uh, talk about a, a few examples of how we uh, can think about these. The cephalosporins. Uh, so the, I'm thinking most people have had exposure to, uh, to most of uh, the, these types of cephalosporin types of, uh, uh, types of drugs. Uh, it, because of these charges, uh, it has a very, um, very low affinity to be transported. Um, and it has uh, uh, a, a lot of intracellular accumulation, which is obviously something of concern. When you look at some of the alternatives that were designed, uh, this moves rapidly across the, uh, the epithelia to go from the blood into the urine. Why is that a good thing? It's not going to buy, build up, it's not going to accumulate, and the uh, uh, cephalothin is not a uh, neurotoxin like some of the other classes with the uh, zoetorionic character. So we talked about if something's charged and how it's charged, that's going to be very important for uh, how it's uh, taken out of the body. Who knows what paraquat and diquat are? How about paraquat? Anybody hear par about paraquat? Well, with the legalization of marijuana, maybe more people will hear about Paraquat because it was a, essentially a weed killer um, that was meant to wipe out um, uh, marijuana fields back when marijuana was illegal. Um, uh, paraquat lace marijuana was a, uh, was a, big, um, uh, a big issue. Um, so even after a small fraction's absorbed, the blood levels remain constant, accumulates in the lung, uh, and even in the blood at uh, fairly high concentrations. It, um, so uh, we won't get into the transport mechanism, but it's an active transport across the lung, uh, and it's able to, to bring this across. This is directly related to these charges. So you see the, the spacing of these charges. Diquat has a much larger space between those two charges. Why do you care? Uh, uh, that it has a larger space and less steric hindrance because that means that that transporter that sh uh, chaperones that, uh, that molecule across the, the, the lung barriers is no longer uh, able to do that. So diquat being just a good of, uh, as good of a uh, herbicide as paraquat, but it does not uh, have the same type of lung toxicity. Again, we can go into acrylates, widely used. There are um, uh, polymer building blocks, wide uh, levels of application. Just by adding on that uh, methyl group, you're changing the electronic structure of the, uh, of the molecule. Just by adding on that one thing, go from carcinogenic to non-carcinogenic. Benzene. Any concerns for benzene? Yeah, benzene causes uh, hemotoxicity. Is well as leukemia, just by adding a methyl group and changing it into toluene, um, you uh, have a dramatic reduction of toxicity of, uh, uh, of benzene. We talked about replacing, isosterism is replacing, uh, in this case, one atom with a, di with a different atom. Uh, so here we have TDT, um, and it's known to be very persistent because uh, of well, many ways because of all of the chlorines attached to the carbon. Um, but if you take out the, the carbon and change it to silicon, as those of you who've memorized your periodic table knows that silicon is directly below, uh, below carbon, um, it is dramatically less persistent, less able to bioaccumulate, uh, and turned out to be uh, non-toxic to, to insects and can break part of that, that cascading. Uh, this makes the molecule significantly larger, and this bond is much more easily cleavable.